What's up, y'all? Uh, I got a, another bit of a mixed mixed bag of hauls to share with you guys. Um, I got some music related stuff. I got some some movies and some toys, of course, toys. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to jump right into this. It's gonna I'm gonna do this in like kind of like four different sections. It'd be like slight, some slight jump cuts. Um, so first, some music related stuff. Um, I got some, I got some, some artist merch, but also, uh, I don't know how, how recently, but not long ago, I, I mentioned my friend, uh, close, close family friend, one of my best friends, Christelle, amazing, young, talented, um, artist, aspiring musician slash recording artist. She's already an amazing, uh, singer and artist. Um, but she is trying to, uh, I'll, I'll probably, you'll get to know her more. Let's just put it that way. Um, but I want to show these real quick because um, I, I forget I haven't shown these in the past. So, um, so far, I've been able to see uh, three of her performances. The first one, I didn't think about it. I hadn't, I didn't save the, um, the, uh, the, the program. Um, I thought about it after. Actually, I, I did originally save it, but it, it went, it was, it was sitting in, in a pile of stuff and it went into the, um, the recycle bin. Uh, I, I felt really bummed because I realized there, I was like, oh, I should have, I mean, I would have saved it regardless, but then I was like, I, I should have got it signed. It was actually both her and her younger sister, Kateri, uh, were, were in that performance. So I was like, man, I wish I would have got that signed uh, by both of them. But then I realized later, I was like, okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake. So at her next um, show, which was uh, Contemporary Voices, uh, really cool. Um, and this was at the, the Smith Center. So it was really like a um, a concert hall, like a um, where they have like um, orchestra type, that kind of concert hall. Really, really cool. Uh, so I got that autograph by her and more recently, um, at, uh, at her school actually at LVA, uh, tapestry. Um, this was a, uh, really cool, interesting, interesting show as well. Got that signed by her and a little note. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So really cool. Uh, like I said, though, I mean it. You you are gonna get to know her more. Uh, I have videos. Well, if you follow on Instagram and Facebook, you would have seen story posts uh, or posts that I've I posted from from performances. But there will be more to come, and I, I do have clips that I will be sharing here on YouTube before too long. Anyway, so some artist merch. Uh, I don't know if I have mentioned. I think I have. Uh, I've really been on this kick of discovering more, um, not only artists in, in various, uh, genres, but especially like indie artists that, you know, like you're not going to hear on the radio. Some of the best stuff, um, is stuff you're not going to hear on the radio. Even as big as my all time favorite Lana Del Rey is, you don't hear her on the radio. She has been on the radio in the past, but, um, yeah. Anyway, Julia Jacqueline is, is someone I've recently discovered that has become one of she's she's up there. She's up there. Um really up there. Really interesting style. I want to say kind of indie a little bit of indie rock, a little bit of indie uh folk, a little bit of like alt country. Um I it's like it's bluesy. I don't know. I love her vocal style, especially, and her overall musical style. Um, yeah. So I, I, you know, when I when I fall in love with these these artists, I like I gotta get some merch. You know. So luckily, she she had a little bit of merch on the polyvinyl site. Got this poster, um, a sticker, polyvinyls, the the label that they they threw in. They, they oddly enough, they even threw in. Airheads in my package, and I got this T-shirt. It's it's a uh, it's from her. One second, it's from her previous um, album, "Don't Let the Kids Win," which is also I don't know if it's 
no this poster is from also don't let the kids win her her newer album is crushing love it like um i like them both but i love crushing especially there's there's no well there's one thing from from crushing it's it's just a uh there's a a sweater and a t-shirt that just says crushing i like stuff that has kind of like an image of the artist so this is the closest thing from her video pool party so i've got that and then there's this other uh young talented artist charlotte lawrence that um i recently discovered another one who's uh, i mean I, I throw around the word like oh you know they, they become one of my favorites you know i do have a lot of favorites but i guess a better way to describe them um or an artist like like julia jacqueline and, and charlotte lawrence is i've been getting or they've been getting heavy rotation on my uh on my spotify playlist so charlotte lawrence um got this uh this hoodie which was cool about that is it was um on sale you know artist merch is not cheap this hoodie you know and a lot of stuff like licensed stuff you could pay like 60 bucks for a hoodie which is something i just would not want to do hoodie itself was originally like 40 bucks but it was on sale for um for 20 bucks i was like yeah why not i'll pull that trigger so there you go it's from her um EP. I don't remember if it's an album, full album, or no, I believe it's an EP, her, her EP, Young. So, pretty cool. Okay, next up, got some more Dollar DVDs. These were all from one trip uh, to Dollar Tree. It's always interesting. It was funny. There was a, there was a chick there in the aisle. Uh, I was with Summer, and I, I, know, I spotted the DVDs, and she, uh, I forget exactly what she said, but something like... Um, I have never heard of any of these movies. And I laughed. We both laughed. And I was like, but that's the beauty of it. Is you're going to see movies here that you, you wouldn't have never heard of. And there could be some gems. You know, like all the movies you've heard of are on like Netflix or Amazon or, you know. Um, but here you might possibly find some gems. It's that for me, I, you know, I said said it jokingly. Well, I, I also, there was a there was a movie called iborg which i pointed out that was really the like the 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 high point of of the joke uh i was like look at this iborg where else are you gonna see this movie iborg which i did not pick up <laughs> uh but you know it was for real um and honestly most of these like i've never heard of and I've, I have found a few gems in the past, um, you know, and for me, for, for a buck, it's not a big investment to take a chance on a movie. Um, and I especially love like indie, it, just like with music. I love exploring indie stuff. So this movie looked really interesting. I was like, at first I was, well, Sel Selma Blair, I'm, I've been a fan of her since, um, I forget what year it was, but two guys, a girl in a pizza place, which was also where, um, What's his name? Uh, his name escapes me right now. The dude plays Deadpool. Um, uh, I can't remember his name, but yeah, yeah, that's where he originally came from as well. Um, anyway, uh, at first I had, I had no idea. Uh, I just saw Selma Blair. I was like, oh, I love Selma Blair. I'll grab any movie with her. But then I was reading it, and there's like something about um, extensive collection of toys and action figures. Adorning his boy boyhood bedroom. So I was like, okay. Uh, I didn't even read the rest. I was like, I saw that and and that picture there. I was like, okay, yeah, this 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 is gonna be worth a watch. Um, one of the things I especially like is the chance to discover like gems of horror movies. You know, horror is really like one of, if not my most favorite genre. It's just that it's hard to find something that I find really good. And that really impresses me. So, you know, I take this chance to, to find stuff, give them a shot. You never know. Um, I believe this is on Netflix or Amazon, one of those. But still, I mean, you know, to this special edition. Why not? Um, Eli Roth. I think I've heard of this before, but it's like Eli Roth. Again, why not? Um, Something Wicked. This is one of those ones I've never heard of, but it's Brittany Murphy's final movie. Huh, let's see. Let's check it out. Uh, Syrup, this, I don't know, this is like a drama. Um, but it's got Amber Heard. She's another one of those ones I'll watch. I love Amber Heard. Um, I'm trying to think. I forget the name. There's There was like some older kind of indie movies I've seen with her. 
that I caught either on Netflix or Amazon. This was before she got a little more popular and started being in bigger Hollywood films. Um, but one of the ones, I think one of the first ones that really caught my eye, um, was it Never Give Up? Something like that. It was like a fight movie. MMA fight movie, but she was the chick in there, and she really caught my eye, so I'm like, she's one of those ones, I'll watch anything she's in, so, and this, I used to watch this show on cable way, way back in the day called Blind Date, I believe it was, just funny, just fun and funny and kind of sexy, some sexy stuff, um, so I thought, you know, if this is anything close to the vein of that, uh, it might be fun to check out, you know, again, for a buck, why not? So speaking of a mixed bag, this is something you won't see me show in a haul very often, a box of cereal. Um, I did post this already on Instagram, so if you do follow, you would have seen this. Uh, is this Becky Lynch on a freaking box of cereal? Uh, I joked in, in my post that, you know, Becky Lynch uh, on a box of cereal, something like that. Uh, the man has finally arrived. I mean, come on, you have truly arrived when you are on a box of cereal. Um back of it is pretty cool too with the big show just funny because um on gold no uh honeycomb you got the big show i'm like really the big show now i'm behind on my wwe i'm i'm like several months behind i'm still like on august but i'm like really is big show the 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 face of WWE, wwe the men's face um it's just kind of weird uh you know becky <laughs> totally i can understand even if i'm not caught up i mean she's still i would imagine she's still totally relevant um but i'm like big show the only thing i can think of, i would think it'd be like someone like seth rollins or or roman roman reigns and i'm like maybe the exec the serial exec was like we want one of the big guys i'm like well there's braun Strowman. you know i don't know is, is big show even relevant right now i kind of i don't think so but anyway, either way, I got it for Becky. I don't even eat this cereal, but I'll eat it. But uh, she looks great on the box. I'm going to probably like flatten this and uh, put that on the wall. So I haven't gotten one of these JDM tuners in a while. These are the, um, I don't know exactly what scale these are. One, I want to say something like 132nd. I don't think, I don't think they say the scale. Um, but somewhere around there, um, I haven't got one of these in a while, but I saw this Honda Civic Type R 1997 looks pretty cool. So I thought that was worth a pickup. Um, this, this is one of those ones, you know, I always try to post about, about great deals. Like, um, you know, I give you the heads up on stuff. I find at Ross that if it's worth mentioning, but if nothing else, you know, um, on Instagram, I'm all, always posting finds, um, this is one of those ones where I would have posted, but I shared it uh, in Messenger with, with several people. Uh, minutes later, it was sold out, so there was going to be no point in, in posting about it, either on, on Instagram or or you know, on YouTube, which I usually wouldn't anyway. I usually only post like store stuff. Um, but So on Hasbro's eBay, this was like only nine bucks shipped. Can you imagine? This thing is big and heavy. It's it's almost like it costs nine bucks to ship. So it was like they're just <laughs> giving it away free. Uh, this is one of those ones I you know I say this all the time. Regular price I would never have bought. What was this like originally like forty bucks or something like that? I wouldn't even bought it for half price. But for nine bucks, less than ten bucks shipped. Yeah, sure, why not? Not that I didn't like um, Enfys Nest. Uh, I, you know, I actually loved the movie. There's another one, you know, I've said it in the past where, you know, I was talking about Star Wars recently, um, how, you know, a lot of people hated it, uh, like The Last Jedi, I loved it, Solo, I think some people liked it, but I think I, I heard more not good things than, than good things, but I loved it. I thought Emphasis Nest was cool, but again, this just comes down to, uh, I'm, I'm not really doing the six inch that much, you know, but shit for nine bucks uh, 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 a pretty good looking figure although it's a little disappointing you don't get a, a, a unhelmeted head of Enfys you know that's always kind of uh, a point for me um, but look at that that speeder that's pretty cool too couple random raw scores 
Got another one of these um, Legends Class Power of the Primes figures. Uh, I don't think, I don't even know if I've been showing in the haul some of the other ones I've been getting. Uh, or maybe I have. I, it might have been a while back that I I, I got any. Because um, I, I know I recently picked up a couple for a friend, but then um, the, all the ones I got for myself might have been a while back. So those were those were in older, older hauls. Uh, Find 99. There's been a few that have been popping up at Ross that you see them all the time at this one. I don't see as often and originally I was gonna pass I was like I don't need him but then I realized you know when I see him only every so often I'm like yeah <laughs> I know it's kind of that logic like oh he's kind of kind of rare um but still $5.99 it's not a big investment you know uh pretty cool still pretty cool I I would have preferred I remember the the original version not the original version but like this is like a recolor I forget is it wind charger i don't i forget who is called and what line but I, if i'm not mistaken this particular um you know sculpt was originally um a red color car uh, a different character which i don't think i ever got i, I would have preferred to find that for 5.99 but still not bad tailgate uh and got to have some mega constructs goodness um i don't think i've gotten any of like the world war 2 sets themed you know call of duty sets um it was just kind of like eh, there's not enough of them and there's there's no you know there's no fucking nazis like what's the point having all these u.s soldiers no fucking nazis although that there was one set the one with the motorcycle which still pops up all the time which i think it's like i forget how much but i'm like it's it's like this like even as cheap as the the ross price already is yeah it's still not enough to pull the trigger but for a reduced price, three forty nine. Yeah, why not? Um, even though they're they're kind of like they don't really have any enemies. And last but not least, <laughs> you would have seen my posts about these uh, Instagram, Facebook, and then I, I posted videos. I, I felt it was newsworthy enough to to show a video of to give the heads up. Yeah. $4.99, uh, these are, this is a line that I, I actually wanted to collect from the start, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't add 20 bucks a pop. Even, like, for the one I wanted most, like Tracer, I still, I don't know, I just felt like, no, nah, I, I don't want to. Not for, not for full price. $4.99, $4.99, $4.99, $4.99, and essentially the same price, two packs, you know, for essentially the same price per figure, two packs for nine ninety nine. Yeah, how am I not gonna get these? Um, so this is again not only sharing the haul, but if you missed the the other videos and you happen to be watching this, and go hit up Ross. This is the best time. I I shop at Ross all year round, but at Christmas time is when they put out all the shit that is like, what they have that at Ross? Yeah. I saw someone post that they even found a um, Reinhardt, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a bigger, that was originally like a $50 figure, one of those like deluxe figures, for $4.99. So I don't know, I don't know when I'm going to go hit up Ross's again if I if I don't find any more, which I, I feel like there are some others at, at Ross that, that I haven't found yet. Um, I'll be happy, I'll be happy having scored these. For, for these prices, um, really cool figures. It's funny when I look at these, even when I look at Hasbro's um, Power Rangers Lightning Collection, I feel like they're more impressive than the Marvel Legends comic figures. And it makes sense in a way because I know the comic figures they're you know they're supposed to be in spandex, so they're a lot more kind of simpler um, and basic looking. You know, there's not a whole lot of detail as opposed to the the MCU figures, which are really impressive. They're 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 on the level like of the the Black Series, um, you know, movie figures. Uh, you know, because again, it makes sense. They're movie figures. They're realistic. They have lots of detail. Um, these and the the Power Rangers. You know, while they're not based, well, the Power Rangers are, but they're not ultra like detailed. You know, there's not a lot of texture there and stuff like that. Um, they just they're they're more detailed. So it's like when I look at these, you know, even when I consider the original $20, $20 price tags on these, they just look better 
and more like cooler toys than than the comic Marvel Legends. Um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. That's kind of why I'm chilling on Marvel Legends. Um, anyway, so happy, so happy to score these again. You know, I've I've never played the game. I don't know if I ever will, but the the characters, I I love the theme. You know, from what I've seen of the game, what I know of the game, what little I know, it's just, the theme is really cool. The story seems cool. The character designs, really cool. Um, yeah. Just really cool. Great, great, great scores there. So, anyways, uh, there you guys have it as always. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching.